And it is not just Ohio. The number of children left orphaned or abandoned by their parents has just skyrocketed. CNN's Deb Fairick reports from Lexington, Kentucky. <laughs> Go to bed, baby girl. Night. Good night, Nanny. Welcome to the zoo. It's impossible right. to be quiet in the okay. zoo. Meet the Flynn family. Grandma Sandra is 64 years old. Give me a big hug. Turn around and give me a hug. Her husband, Michael, who everyone calls Poppy, is 73. You are now raising five year old twins. Yes, ma'am. And okay. the and other three. They are raising five grandkids in a cramped, colorful Kentucky home that's equal parts chaos and love. Willa, now 16, is the oldest. When was the last time you saw your mom, Willa? Mm, five years ago when I was 10. She kind of disappeared. No one knew where she was. The she Sandy is referring to is her own daughter, whose youngest children were all born addicted to drugs. Why did you the state came in and said she could not care for them anymore. And they called and asked us if we would take all five and said, of course. An estimated three million kids in America are being raised by someone other than their mom and dad. The opioid and heroin epidemic has hit Kentucky especially hard. More than 68,000 children there are now being taken care of by grandparents, relatives, or foster parents. They've been abandoned. They've been forgotten in a lot of ways in preference for the drugs. When you look at the generation of kids that's being raised, how do you think it's going to turn out? It has to impact them. There's always going to be a want, a need, that something they didn't get from mom. Do you feel on some levels that you've been abandoned in some way by your mom? I know she cared about me. She used to be a really sweet person, but now I don't know. I learned to accept it where I am right now. Not far away in another part of Lexington, Kentucky, grandmother Kathy Allen drops by the high school to pick up grandkids Kayla and Madison. Now 14 and 16, the sisters were small when they were initially placed in foster care. How does your childhood compare? How would you describe it? Uh, it was terrible. It was terrible? Yeah. When you think about childhood, you think about like happy things, but there wasn't really any. According to Generations United, nearly 40% of grandparents caring for grandchildren are over age 60. One in five lives below the poverty line. Foster parents can earn as much as 600 to $1,200 per month per child, whereas grandparents aren't even receiving the first food stamp. Kayla and Madison are in touch with their father, who's currently in prison. They say they have little to no contact with their mom. Her choice, not theirs, they say. Like, I've forgiven my mom so many times, but like, like, she just keeps going back, like, and it's, it's hard to forgive every single time. A generation of children who feel abandoned by parents who they believe chose drugs over them. Deborah Fayrick, CNN, Lexington, Kentucky.